begin tonight with a crime alert in Cordova. Brazen thieves target a jewelry store inside Wolf Chase Galleria. Hello, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. And I'm Greg Hirsch. WRG's Bria Jones joins us now live outside the mall after speaking with the workers about that smash and grab. And Bria, just exactly what do the thieves take? Well, Memphis police say three men use sledgehammers to get away with $30,000 worth of jewelry. Tonight, the search is on for three bling bandits who hit a mom and pop jewelry store inside Wolf Chase Galleria. The attack similar to this incident last May, where a group of thieves shattered jewelry cases inside JCPenney. It just sounded like glass breaking and like it was loud. According to police, three men used sledgehammers to smash three jewelry cases at Mr. Gold Box inside the mall. And I just heard a lady coming out in the middle of the mall screaming for security. Within seconds, those working inside the mall say the men entered the store, stole the goods and left a trail of glass. MPD says they got away with 30 thousand dollars worth of gold bracelets, necklaces, and watches. I was going to shut that gate, but they already had ran out, so... And then security came and everything was taken care of. A man working inside the store told officers he tried to grab a bag of jewelry but couldn't keep hold of it. Witnesses told officers the men ran out a nearby exit and left in a red Dodge minivan that had two other people waiting inside. WREG crime mapped the area we discovered. MPD has responded to nearly 500 burglary, theft, and robbery calls in the immediate Wolf Chase area in the last six months. The mall has had a lot of incidents in the past, um, but they have definitely stepped up their game with police. So now I don't, I'm not worried about it. Police say witness did share photos of the suspects and getaway car. If you know anything, call Crime Stoppers at 528-CASH. And now reporting live in Cordova, Bria Jones, WREG News, Channel 3. All right, hopefully they'll be able to catch the people responsible. Thank you, Bria.